South Carolina is among many U.S. states struggling with climate change. Coastal cities are experiencing more flooding, spreading pollution as water washes over the land and into coastal rivers. These floods are caused by melting glaciers and rising sea levels as Earth's temperature continues to warm. They're also caused by hurricanes, which scientists believe are intensifying due to global warming. Storm surge is expected to become more destructive as hurricanes increase in frequency. Climate change is also affecting the health of South Carolinians. Summer temperatures are rising dramatically, making it dangerous for people who can't afford air conditioning. Vibrio vulnificus, a toxic microbe found in warm, brackish water, is on the rise, infecting shellfish and making people sick. Older people and those with weakened immune systems are more likely to get Vibrio-related illnesses. Warmer temperatures are spurring toxic algae blooms, especially in lakes, which causes skin irritation and respiratory issues in humans and contaminates seafood. Poison ivy vines have exploded in growth at Congaree National Park due to rising carbon dioxide levels. Global warming is driving up lionfish populations, causing the invasive species to pervade coastal waters, stinging divers. A lionfish sting causes intense pain and sweating, and in extreme cases, respiratory distress and even paralysis. South Carolina has failed to develop a comprehensive strategy to fight climate change. Communities lack education on how to adapt to the changing climate and efforts to cut greenhouse gas pollution.